So it's on these days that I don't want to go to the co-working space to be sat upright. And in my little hotel room, I have no desk. I just have beds. And so I resort to laying down in one bed with a little laptop keyboard, laptop, and a little tablet to really thing to do the writings on. Because today, I'm continuing work with the Emotional Healing course. So here it goes. Let's get some writings, and get some scribbles down. I'm quite excited about this course now. It's been a long time coming, but it's going well. I'm very happy with it. Just gotta keep tweaking it. And the live I did yesterday, where I was invited on as a guinea pig to talk about fear and overcoming fear, it sparked and inspired me to consider something else I need to include in the course. So here goes, exciting times. Much love. So I just went out to get some breakfast and on my way back, I found a shop and it sells this stuff called Kunko Yerba Mate. And it's a mindful energy. And uh, it's got no added sugar, which is really rare in, in Mexico, apart from Diet Coke. Uh, and it's got all these, well, extra goodies in, which aren't necessarily a good thing, right? <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just so grateful I found this stuff. Like actual clean-ish looking drink uh, in Mexico that isn't just purified water. So really grateful for this. Thank you so much, universe, for supplying good stuff. <laughs> so it turns out it kind of tastes like black tea, which is pretty good, quite happy. Naturally sweet black tea. Yeah. I did my yoga again this morning. I've been, I've done yoga every single day for the past, well, coming on two weeks now, which is really good. I'm really quite pleased. Although I've noticed in the past few days, I've done some quite stretchy times and I've definitely, I feel quite sore from it. So yeah, this yoga mat might have a bit more of a rest period tomorrow, or I might just take it a little bit easier on myself. Cause yeah, I, I can tell I've stretched and probably improved my flexibility, which is, a really big part of why I'm doing it. So yeah, I've got to take it a bit easier, I feel, when I start feeling my body kind of contorting <laughs> in that way. So yeah, one step at a time. For now, I'm gonna continue with my mindful energy. It's good stuff. Hey everyone. So I actually don't really feel like making a video today, but I'm gonna make it anyway. And I've already recorded some footage for today, so I may as well roll, roll with it. What I have done today is I've, apart from doing a bit of work on some bits and bobs, I have updated my third action for Foundation for Personal Growth, my own, my own third action, which is basically my top lines, middle lines, and bottom lines. So that's the top lines are things that I must do every day. The middle lines are things I should be aware of. And the bottom lines are things that I must not do each day. So this is basically the purpose of this is going 30 days with these new, these habits set in stone with the intention of at the end of the 30 days, we're going to what I'm going to wire in those new habits because Generally, it takes, well, it's different, different estimates, different theories, different ideas of this, but generally the idea is that it takes 30 days to form a new habit. And so here I am creating a new habit. So my top lines, things that I must do every day. So my morning routine is appreciation practice for at least, temp at least five minutes. Meditation for 20, 10 to 20 minutes. Yoga for at least 25 minutes. And then each day, so at any point during the day, make one video for the 30 day video challenge. Go for at least one walk, which should be for a minimum of 10 minutes. 
make at least one outreach call or voice message or text message, which is going to be at least five minutes. And that's essentially for contacting somebody else just to kind of maintain accountability. Um, it's also part of the program as well that me and my friend were developing and putting together. And that's one of the requirements, but more on that another time. And this is a new one. This is what I've updated in my top lines. Eat all foods within an eight to nine hour window and aim to do this every day, but once every second day is acceptable when I feel it is required. And that is essentially just to go for that kind of ideally 16 hours a day fasted, um, but also 15 hours a day. And that's just to kind of activate that autophagy, get that cellular cleansing going on. And the fasting, just, yeah, good for all round health and helping with uh, not overeating and calorie control as well in that way. Or just, you know, not putting in too much energy into my body or at least more than I need. And I've found as well today, as I said in this, in this video, yeah, yoga practice has become quite achy because I've, uh, I've been pushing it quite a bit, which is good. And then middle lines, so things to be aware of. I've updated it now to be aware of feeling down and turning to food to numb the discomfort. So that's something that me personally, I've always, it's, it's something I've historically done especially with smoking weed in the past as well. It was like, oh, if I feel any kind of discomfort, I would go to food or, or weed, uh, but the weeds are the question. And so it's still me kind of adjusting and getting used to food, which I'm doing great. I can feel that I'm making excellent progress. So I'm not beating myself up in any way, just forming a new habit, which I'm really happy about. And so bottom lines must not do. No ordering takeaway from tomato.mx, which is a local delivery system here for food delivery. And I just found previously, it was just far too easy for me to, um, to order more food than I needed. Um, I'm just one person, and, uh, long story. But yeah, just avoiding that. And I'm in more of the center of town now as well. So it's just much easier for me to to get food when I need it. And yeah, it's not ideal. I'd rather be eating in a different way. I'd rather have my own consistent kitchen space to work from and be eating cleaner, I suppose, in general. But that's a long story. It's, it's all in hand. I have a plan. I have a long-term plan. That's all that matters. Also, things that I must not do. <clears throat> no eating food to avoid the discomfort of my body switching to hunger or fat burning. And I know that so much of that comes from like, um, just even the types of food I eat at times. It's like getting that kind of, you know, if you eat, like say carbs, for example, and then you end up wanting more carbs and like that feeling of satiation is very rarely met. So I'm very mindful of that and just, you know, going, going on like low carb days or zero carb days and carb cycling as well, something I've been working with and it's really been helping, which is awesome. And also just no eating when I'm not hungry. So just, only eating when I'm hungry. Simple. And that's that's really it. Yeah, the tales of a of an ex-smoker adjusting to a regular a regular appetite for himself. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really grateful for being able to I'm really grateful that I'm putting myself in this position to be able to do these daily habits and ingrain these new habits into myself because I think they're really good. Especially the yoga feels amazing. The meditation as well, of course, the appreciation practice, it's really helped me, help, helped me keep myself afoot, um, 
flute and also some um, yeah just just removing things from my life that are no longer in alignment for me and no longer serving me and um, are causing more harm than than good um, that's helped me a lot as well in the, in the past few days so yeah it's all it's all good it's all good yeah and I hope it's all good for everyone else too tuning in I wish everyone can find the peace and love within and may that be reflected out in everything that, that they do and everything that they experience so much love <laughs>